do you guys have any uh, words of encouragement to anybody that wants to get into the restaurant business? I would say if you want to get into the restaurant business, the first thing you want to think about is at least you're going to think about three to five years return on investment. If you're ready for mm-hmm. that, then go ahead. Three to five years. Number two is uh, it's time consuming. Get ready to put 10 to 15 hours a day, day for the first year. Oh, third first, thing, okay. yes. For third thing is... 80% risk. Mm. A lot of a lot of people close within the first two years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fourth thing I would say is labor force. There's a lack of the labor, labor force, force is probably really in here. is the hardest part. Exactly, because how can you make money without soldiers? Like these guys are, you know, fighting for you to so you can make money. But if you don't have anybody to fight for you, you can't do it by yourself. Yeah. Right? If he's working, then he's not seeing what's happening in his restaurant. Then mm-hmm. all that's gonna happen is just gonna keep going down, down, down. The only time I remember we start improving is when I went outside the box and started looking inside the inside box on the things I need to improve. And that's when we seen it. We're like, oh, okay, look at how it's improving, right? So th- that that's another tip I would give is labor force is challenging. Mm-hmm. So if you are gonna open a restaurant, make sure it's like a family. Yeah. So that at least like, it's somebody that you can rely on, yeah, yeah, for example. Yeah. And uh, number five, uh, invest a lot in social media. Mm. And it's not about focus on if, like taste is really important, but it's not everything. Taste it's not everything, it. you know. And um, unfortunately, a lot of a lot of people who comes into this business, uh, you know, they they've been chefs back home or, or uh, something, and they think yeah. people mentality here is same as back home. Yeah. They Which think that people care a lot about the flavor. They know what the true flavor is. But people don't here, care. Don't here, don't know that. They the, don't uh, know. They care, but they don't yeah. know. Really, I can tell you that when Syrian refugees came, they really raised the bar with the food. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, I remember there was no good shawarma at that yeah. right? And we were the first people to introduce saj bread. People were yeah. like, what the heck is this saj bread? It's so good. People would just use it to Peter. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, n- now you go in Masaga anywhere and every corner is a good size, shawarma. Yeah. You, you yeah. will, you, it's not like you can't find you can't find a, a really bad shawarma anymore mm-hmm. where five years ago a lot of really bad shawarmas they're, were they're extremely right so the industry is changing and it's becoming more challenging and you know uh, if somebody's trying to get into this industry food is important but focus more on your marketing on your mm. operations your and cleanliness. basically your support your cleanliness Absolutely. and uh, these days Google reviews is the easiest thing that a customer can rip you on it's true and it can affect your business a lot yeah, yeah, and yeah. for me trust me I'm on Google review every Every day reading my reviews and then I'm reaching out to you know my operations say look what yeah. happened you're looking at here I shouldn't be doing this but it's because I know how important it is yeah so make sure you invest a lot in your Google huh. Google's everything yeah people that's your image biggest thing yeah. Yeah. That's if your somebody image. leaves you a bad review please invite him back and yes make him change that review yes <laughs> uh- <laughs>